Lexington, Indiana on a very hot, humid day. Nitrous bottles being added to the Thor racing boat for this man, Jerry Hopp, the driver, hopefully to get more speed, more acceleration out of the turns. This man needs all the power he can get, too, that being Ron Snyder. And the Budweiser with Jim Kropfeld for 2A. Here we go with E2A. The Budweiser already with forward points to its credit way back as Ron Snyder's right on the button for the start of 2A. Ron Snyder, what can you say? The man is known for just that, getting ahead of the field, right at the gun. The Budweiser may be holding back a little bit. We'll see. He's on the outside hip of the wholesome Miss Madison. Two Ohio drivers. We've seen this countless times over the past three or four years. Crockfeld on the outside against Snyder on the inside. Wholesome Miss Madison in lane one and the Budweiser in lane two. Snyder, who was the grand marshal for the parade here at Madison on Friday night. Oh, the boat getting way out of attitude right now in lane number one, trying to stay with the Budweiser. Snyder with the angle now as they go into this very, very tight turn. Snyder hoping to go wide. He's got about a 7,000-pound boat going against a much, much lighter turbine-powered Miss Budweiser. As you see, Cropfeld able to keep the boat speed and go fast around the corner. And now it's a race of acceleration, really. And let's see if that turbocharged Allison can come up next to the Budweiser. Sure enough, here comes Snyder coming down the main chute, completing lap number one. Budweiser slightly ahead of the host of Miss Madison. Third place is the Miss Pepsi with Mitch Evans, but here's your battle for first and second. The conventional boat, the host of Miss Madison. Proud, proud piece of property for this entire city. And as you see, the Budweiser crew talking to Jim Crockfeld, who now has swung wide and now moved into first place. The Budweiser with a turbine power in lane number two, now edging away. Well, wait a minute, here comes Snyder again in lane number one. In that turbocharged Allison, a hosted Miss Madison. We'll take a closer look, by the way, at the turbos later on today. Under the bridge. And again, these two who are very good friends, they love to go at each other, have a lot of fun on the race course, going deck to deck, and you're seeing it again here as the Holson Miss Madison, Snyder trying to hug the buoys, the senior driver on this circuit. And Cropfeld about a year behind him. Ooh, you can see Cropfeld wanting to go in a little tighter, and Ron Snyder saying, not yet. Look at this, the Budweiser are going way outside the bridge support, coming down the main chute, with Snyder again tiptoeing on those Spotsons with the Budweiser in first place after two laps. The crowd here, of course, they always support the Miss Madison and the Risley Audio video owned by Jim Sedam. There's Bernie Little of the Budweiser and, of course, the Holson crew watching the battle go on as now Krupfeld slowly beginning to extend that lead over the Holson Miss Madison. 25 years of experience, Jim Krupfeld, and he is in the lead. Mitch Evans, the second generation in the Evans family racing. His father, Norm Evans, drove back in the 50s and 60s, and now Mitch has followed that tradition. Second place is Ron Snyder, after a seven-year courtship, recently got married, and now lives in New Bremen, Ohio. And Krupfeld again, been voted into the APBA Hall of Champions more than any other driver. Jim Cropfeld, the defending world champion of the Miss Budweiser, coming around the second turn on lap number three. Taking it easy on his equipment, he knows he has many more challenges before this one is over. He will have a third preliminary heat and then go into the final. In second place is Ron Snyder, accepting second and the 300 points, which should get him into the final. Coming down the main chute and will go under the Milton Madison Bridge one more time. Jim Cropfeld in first place, the winner of heat, 2A. Second place, Snyder, the Holson, Miss Madison. So get out your scorebooks. The Budweiser with a perfect day, 800 for the afternoon. Then the Miss Madison and Miss Pepsi and four racing. Now down with Jim Hendrick. A familiar face and a happy one. As far as the Budweiser racing team, this is August Bush, the fourth of Manheiser Bush. You have to be ecstatic. I lo I'm love every minute of it, Uncle. Fantastic. Fantastic. You call out, you call out, you go in the gym. He calls Bernie Little Uncle. That's right. That, that's from since this high. <laughs> My favorite uncle, too. I love him. A happy Budweiser team, Bernie Little, August Bush, the fourth. Don? Every time you Ohio guys get together, the same thing happens. That was a nice run out there. Well, it could have been a little nicer, but we still can't get this boat around the corners for some reason. And uh, yeah, with Joe, Jimmy and I was going to make a little show out of it, but 
Well, the problem being, you got long straightaways and really tight turns here. Oh, yeah, but shoot, we ought to be able to get around there quicker than what we're doing it. Meanwhile, class continues at the Cellular One camp. Jim Lucero and Steve Reynolds talking it over. 